And here I thought I got lucky. Look what shit that landed me in. How about I start from the beginning? It all starts with my acceptance into the Orwell Investigative Agency. Episode 1, The Clocks Were Striking 13. You're online. Good. Call me Sins. I will be an advisor in the Orwell together. We will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. Oh, good. Fighting for the American people. I activated your reader tool. This is the purpose of storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for ease, acts, easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our, new, our leading newspaper, The National Beholder. Damn. Well, <laughs> why would you? Okay. We'll bring you up to speed. National Beholder Headlines That was a slow load, holy crap. What the fuck is happening? Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Okay. This website loaded really slowly. You gotta get like faster internet, brother. We live in the future. <laughs> How hard is it to load a web page? My job was pretty simple. Read through articles, look through web pages, and snoop through people's conversations in order to find and stop criminals that threaten the peace of the nation. My will was strong, and I couldn't find myself getting distracted. What are these ads? Can I click the ads? What is this picture? Why? Oh, okay. Before looking at any suspects, I needed to inform myself about the Freedom Memorial bombing that occurred earlier this evening. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. <laughs> Kill Peter Bonton. <laughs> Three people killed, five injured. Authorities receive strange letter. D did that open up something different? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, we're gonna click that one. Uh, five injured. Terrorist ambition suspected as a mysterious letter reaches authorities. Bonton at approximately 7:50 p.m. On Wednesday evening, an explosion, an explosive device detonated the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to the official police reports, three people were killed. Why am I reading it like this? <laughs> and at least five bystanders were injured. The experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with p police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirmed that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei, nice, the thoughts are free, has reached local authorities. My first step was to investigate the mysterious blue-haired woman that the cameras picked up just before the attack. The Orwell system detected she had a criminal history, so that is where I started. Oh, this one. Ah, there we go. Okay. Watergate Cassandra. Nick. Okay. Why is your last name Watergate? Uh, the highlighted elements in the police report are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Okay. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into the profile to upload them to our servers. So this. Ooh. Okay, so we just drag it. God, it takes forever. Add the reason for Mrs. Watergate's prior arrest that has been up, that has been unlocked. We need this info to, for progress. Okay. 
There you go. Cassandra Watergate is the blue-haired woman that the cameras had picked up right before the attack happened. Reading through her police report shows that she was arrested for assaulting a police officer, and after reading a related article from the National Holder, I learned that she assaulted the police officer during a protest at the Freedom Memorial Plaza, the same place that was just bombed. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as a part of demonstration. Mm. Same place that was bombed? Cutwood Sutters! The article also pointed out that Cassandra was an artist. So I tracked down her public portfolio to see if there was any useful information to find on her. Her portfolio was a goldmine of information. My beloved for Wakiko! I found out that she was a daughter of some successful business owner. She also seems to be in a relationship with someone. And I also found her chat handle. With that chat handle, I could listen to any online conversation that she was having. Session Unknown Persons. Hey you. Josie. I can't seem to find my credit card, I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. Who types like that? <laughs> In the middle of buying all of Bonten with that platinum card that I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Oh my goodness, these guys type so fucking slowly. Okay. Let's just shotgun the information. She, Cassandra is talking to Joseph Langley, who she is not only dating, but is also her attorney. Totally not a conflict of interest there. And secondly, she refers to her parents as Big Pharma, uh, and she gets pills from them. Lovely. That is, that, that, that is all that's happened. That's all the information here. So, yeah, let's just move, let's just get that information out and then move on. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Metharin Blue. Mood elevating medication. Sound cool. Company. <laughs> Bruno Watergate. Nice. Oh, she's so fucking creepy. I don't want to look at that anymore. Uh <laughs> okay, I'm just going to quickly scroll past her face. Oh, hey, look. There you go. There she is. Without her blue hair. This was not in her rebellious uh, phase of her life yet. Uh, carrying the fame of the petition, next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter Cassandra will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter of our 85 year strong legacy. I see. Keeping it a family affair. The documents you've been reviewing may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. Ooh, fun. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look to see if there's any information available. Sure. Oh. Owell informs you that you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content... Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with each other, they will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, but this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse the choice. Investigation into malicious jury of police officer has been dropped due to a lack of evidence speculated that acute um that accused parents manipulated the trial Bonten, the case that has been at the center of media attention for the last few months has finally come to an end cassandra w has acquitted of was acquitted of an alleged assault against a police officer before the trial pl took place with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday however the case might be Reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above, Langley, welcomed this outcome. Ain't no point has there been any valid evidence that my client was guilty, at no point at all. The reverse defense attorney committed during the post-trial press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which 
eventually turned the tide in the pursuit. Okay. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed to the hospital after the incident in mid-July. There is still an induced coma unresponsive to treatment. Hmm. Well, she's dating this guy, presumably, just based on the way they speak to each other. This is even going to be entertaining to watch. <laughs> uh, criminal case closed due to lack of evidence. Do we want to throw the parents under the bus? I don't see why the parents would be so willing to cover up the case. Being that she's not associated with the company anymore. We're going to go with this one. Currently, I'm thinking that our Watergate will require a radical change. Don't you agree? Let's find out what happened between the two, these two lives of hers and what caused this shift. Okay. Something new pop up. <clears throat> Sandra's timeline. What the f fuck? Beautiful. <laughs> Cassandra's timeline was abundant in information. It also revealed several new related people. So let's go over them, shall we? A lineup of four people. Mary Bly, a former friend of Cassandra. Juliet Carrington, a lead guitarist of a band called The Targets. Harrison O'Donnell, the lead singer of said band, and through another conversation between Cassandra and her boyfriend slash lawyer Joseph Langley, a man named Goldfelds. Goldfelds being the leader of some activist group called Thought. The point that changed Cassandra was when she decided to go to a Target's concert. At said concert, she met Juliet and O'Donnell, to which they invited her to join their activist group, Thought. This eventually led to the friendship between Cassandra and Mary fading, as Mary was concerned about her friend going down a potentially bad path, to which Cassandra replied, You're just a hater. Lovely. Also, through that conversation with Joseph, it was revealed that Cassandra was quite reliant on a drug her family sold called Metherin, which is an antidepressant and mood stabilizer. Well, I think it's about time we take a look at that activist group, Thought. The Thought. Ooh. These people. The Thoughts are free. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people that they do not want to tell what they do not want to hear. George Orwell. Nice. Quoting Mr. Orwell himself. The Thought. I can click on that. Welcome to the Thought Block. <laughs> Make an entry below. Hmm. Huh, huh. <laughs> Really? This article is private? Come on, man. Are all of these... Oh my god. Forbidden! Oh, this one is not private. Ooh. By Catharsis. Hmm. Freedom is unfree. Published September 2006 by Catharsis. It's cams. Cams ever. Even at Freedom Plaza. Is it just me, or is that a little bit... I don't know. Ironic? Ooh, we got some conflict. You, pub you probably all know me as either the blue-haired punk bitch, stupid beep, or anti-governmental terror. What the fuck are you, right? These are the only some of the names I've been called during my criminal investigation against me. This is just because in the middle of the chaos, someone believe to have seen me hurt a police officer. It never even occurred to me that it wasn't me. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We've always been against violence. There's no... I can't... Oh. Hmm. What did I just get brought to? What? Excuse me? <laughs> Are all these others forbidden? Seems like it. There's nothing else here. I can't click on this. This brings us here. 
Where does this bring me? This brings me somewhere else. Goldfelds. Ooh. He's the admin. Okay. This is a German folk song called The Thoughts Are Free. It goes like... Oh. Isn't that what was sent to the officers when the fucking thing blew up? <laughs> the, the, the German folk song? Why would you have your archive things not be accessible from the main page you gotta get a direct link why something new happening Ooh. okay i'm gonna just click this this person is clearly unstable <laughs> I suspect him, it seems like we're looking for the right person at the right person. Alright, we found what we found so far is good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. We must dig deeper. Um Juliet. Ooh. Carrington. Hey Jules. Just wanted to know. Your posts on timelines about this assault. She would really write something like that. Really, Jules? You're not going to preach to me about this stupid post, are you? No. I just wanted to know what's wrong. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. And me? Tell me your secrets. I just need to let off some steam, you know. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah. And lots and lots of other shit today. This bombing stirred up all this crap again, you know? What I did. What happened there wasn't your fault. Are any of you gonna type? Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. I have to go back and read. I'm going to go back and read all this shit. It's, it's auto-scrolling. Okay, hold on. Whoa. Okay. It's because of what happened. Is, uh, yeah, lots of shit today. Bomb it started up. You know what I did. What happened there wasn't your fault. Cassie, you hurt that officer to save me. And you succeeded. You mustn't forget that. That was so brave. How can it not have been my fault? Juliet, I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't stopped? Who's Juliet? Juliet is... This person, right? Yes. One of the activists. Hmm. See, this is where I want more information. Because on one hand... Whatever the fuck this officer was doing did not... There's no way that this officer was going to, like... Do anything nearly as bad as what Cassandra did. There's no way, right? <laughs> There's absolutely no way. Whatever the fuck this officer was doing to Juliet... Was no way as bad as what Cassandra did. There's no way. Like what? You saved Juliet from being like arrested? So you smashed his skull. <laughs> that seems reasonable to me, friend. Yeah, I'm throwing you under the bus. See you later. You need help, mate. She openly admitted to such a violent act. This is perfect. We can arrest her and have the investigation open again. Very good work. The investigation team is already on its way. We need to wait for confirmation. In Miss Watergate's case, it's not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. Yep, I did a good job. We got her arrested, bud. <laughs> Although we have no proof she's involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her. And with the admission to kill, she's probably served some time. I received confirmation that she's now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group, though. Whether they... Oh, God. Oh, no. Take a look at the news. Oh, no. What the heck just happened? Headlines, two dead after second explosion. Explosion charge set off at university in bot. Oh my God. 
That's horrible. Two dead, similar approach, same letter found, so these assaults are connected. And as if it wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time, so it's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. This complicates matters massively. So much for our simple test case. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button at the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next two days are going to be... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. 